Are you sure about this? Absolutely. Come on, this has been a long time coming. I don't think we should waste another minute. Yeah, I'm not sure it's a good idea to rush things. Hey, there's no time like the present. Come on, you're here. I'm here. We should just do it. Don't you think we should talk to a doctor? The doctor was the one who recommended it, remember? I think his exact words were, use it or lose it. What if I can't do it? It'd be so damn humiliating. Oh, no. I'm going to help you. And you're going to enjoy it. I promise. Well, I'm not sure that I can go more than one round. Well, we won't know that until we try it, right? Ready? Don't you look all official in Clint Buchanan's old chair. Are you comfy? Uh, yeah, it, it, it is actually. Yeah, well, don't get too used to it. What? Why? Because you're going to have to give it back. The chair, the desk, and everything else. Send. Ah, it's too bad they had to knock you out. I could use someone to celebrate with. Cause my ship's about to come in. All right, Clint. It's time to ante up, you old bastard. Okay, nine and ten. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. Now, drop. Give me twenty. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you should see the look on your face. May I remind you <laughs> that I am a heart transplant patient? I know that. Okay, let's do another set. Oh, you're a harsh taskmaster. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Off you go. Oh, thank God for my cell phone. I knew I should have turned that off. Clint Buchanan. Clint! Hey, it's Carter Wentworth. What the hell do you want? How would you like to get your company back? Good. Roxy, I don't know where you're going with this. I just told you. Out. Okay, look, I have a lot of work to do. I am the majority shareholder of this company, which kind of makes me the boss, so... So how's it going for you, honey? I don't know. I've barely paid any attention to BE in the last few months. Not that I know what to do with it, but I'm trying to learn. Well, don't learn anything else, because guess what? You're not the boss no more. Okay, let's have it. What's this about? I'm going to explain it to you. I mean, Echo was supposed to do it, but she doesn't have the guts, so I do it. You know the gun that she was supposed to get rid of? You know, the gun that we thought that you used to kill Victor Lord? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, well, it's a long and complicated story, but I'm going to leave out the part about Morris. Okay, we can save that for later. Okay, so the bottom line is, the gun has gone AWOL, and Echo is just a little too desperate to get it back. How desperate? Well, very desperate, but it wasn't exactly her fault. Because do you remember Clint's crazy ex-wife? Well, she wouldn't give the gun back unless you signed a document saying that you would give everything back to Clint Buchanan. You know, all the stuff that he gave to you in exchange for Gigi's heart. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you talking about Kim Andrews? Bingo! Yes, the skanky ex-hoochie-coochie dancer. Yes, she wanted... You to sign everything over back uh, to Clint. Uh, the desk, the house, the company, the cars, the cash, the whole kitchen caboodle. Okay, but I never signed any documents, so what's the problem? Well, you didn't sign it. But Echo did. Cutter, what the hell are you babbling about? Clint? Are you, are you okay? You sound out of breath. I am just fine except for the jackass wasting my time. Clint, whatever you're doing, keep it up, because you're going to need that vim and vigor when you get back to work, thanks to me and the opportunity that I have for you. Cutter, I'm in the middle of a meeting, so whatever scheme that you're selling me this week, I'm not interested. Clint, I mean it. And not just the company. The, uh, the house, the cash, everything that Rex Balsam stole from you. I can return it to its rightful owner, safe and sound. You can? How? Check your email. Call me back. <laughs> yes! As soon as that old war horse 
sets his eyes on that document, I'm going to be set for life. It's not exactly champagne, but it'll do for now. To money. That's... The bad news is, your bionic mommy is a forger, but the good news is, she's very, very good at it. Yes, I'm aware of Echo's talents. So, where's this document that I supposedly signed? Okay, well, that's the thing here, okay? Because Echo was trying to get it back before you even knew the difference, but Kim gave it away, so someone else has it. Who? Max? No, um, I'm, I'm Cutter. Remember? I told you. Right. I'm in the hospital. Oh, there was an accident. My sister died. She died. Right, okay. Okay, so you remember the accident. Do you remember anything else? Roxy, who has the document with my forged signature? I don't know. You got me swinging. Okay, so you're telling me that there's this piece of paper just floating around that says, I want to give Clint Buchanan back everything I took from him. That's why I'm trying to warn you. Good plan. Cutter claims he can return everything that I lost. <laughs> How does he propose to do that? Don't know. He told me to check my email. Oh, wow. That has got to be one big email. Well, it won't hurt to read it. Here goes. Okay. What's his plan? It seems he has a document signed by Rex returning everything to me. Oh, does he really? And he's willing to hand it over for a price. Of course he is. Clint, if he has a document, it's obviously a fake. Look for yourself. Why would Rex sign that? I have no idea. But it's interesting, isn't it? No, it's not interesting. It's a scam. Like I said, it's interesting. Clint, really, you should not be dealing with that man, okay? Cutter Wentworth is a con artist. Do you remember that he sold us our own daughter when Jessica was Tess? Yes, of course I remember. Good. So, you don't want to go near that. I think it's worth looking into. You cannot be serious! You think you can just dismiss me? 